So inter-county transfers are a sensitive topic when it comes to Gaelic games and Shane Walsh's recent transfer from Kilcairn Clonburn, a club in Galway, to Kilmacook Croaks in Dublin, the superpower that is Kilmacook Croaks in the Dublin Senior Football Championship. It certainly has got a lot of people talking, it's got a lot of people discussing different things and for a while maybe it looked like that transfer was not going to go through. There was certainly some discussion and some pullback from Shane Walsh's club in regards to that transfer to Kilmacook Croaks. But eventually we've seen Shane Walsh complete that transfer to Kilmuckle Croaks. And actually, as a matter of fact, he could very well be in line for his debut in the Dublin Senior Football Championship this weekend. And it'll be interesting to see where he plays, what position he plays. Does he play a corner forward? Does he even maybe go into the half forward line? I think you play him in, in his best position, which is corner forward, to be fair, whether it's on the right or the left. Um, but nonetheless, you know, transfers in the GEA, inter-county transfers in the GEA, it, it is a sensitive topic, and could it eventually, could it become a thing? Could it become a regular thing? I mean, I think we would all agree in saying that we hope that it isn't. But could there be players potentially around the country that see what Shane Walsh has done in moving to, to the Dublin Senior Football Championship? Now, is Shane Walsh going to line out for Dublin in the in the 2023 all Ireland Senior Football Championship? I don't think so. I think Galway are a big enough county. You know, I think there'll be so much pushback um, if Shane Walsh ended up going to, to Dublin, I think it would be probably the most controversial you know, inter-county transfer of, of all time. Uh, and as we know, Shane Walsh is completing a club transfer and not an inter-county transfer. But the fact is, he is eligible to play for Dublin next year. And it sort of did get me thinking, and, and hence the, the sort of topic of this video. And I'd be curious for people who, who have their opinions in the comments down below. Shawnee Johnston was a player who moved to the uh, Kildare County Championship. He actually ended up playing Hurlan in, in Kildare, bizarrely enough, but then obviously that made him eligible to play for uh, for the Kildare Inter-County football side. He was a part of the Cavan side for, for a number of years. He went to the Kildare County team, played there for a couple of years, eventually went back to back to Cavan. Connor Cox is another player. Now, he, his dad is from Roscommon, so that's what made him eligible to play for us common but Connor Cox was a, a player that a lot of people spoke about you know under 20 level minor level juvenile level he was a player sort of coming through the ranks with Kerry couldn't quite make the breakthrough with the senior team ends up playing for the us common senior footballers and you know there's been plenty of other examples as well you know you think of Owen Mulligan who ended up playing for for London albeit you know again he was sort of at the tail end of his career but he was living in London at the time uh, and he was playing club football in London, so it certainly made a, a lot more sense. You know, you think of Jack Fagan, who who moved from Mead to Waterford, the Mead Hurlers to the Waterford Hurlers. Um, so look, there's been plenty of examples of inter-county transfers, and, you know, they are few and far between. And, you know, I think the, the thing about the GEA always is that it's about local pride and passion. You know, that that is the, the motto of the of the GEA in many ways. That's how they market themselves, and, and that's what it's all about. Um, you know, but would there be players around the country who would look at a situation like Shane Walsh going to kill McCook Croaks and think, you know, you know, maybe some players who are playing for, for some smaller counties, and I don't want to start mentioning names or anything like that, but some players who, you know, play for you know, who who are very, very good for their county, but unfortunately, you know, their county is never gonna win provincial titles or very, very unlikely to um, you know, they're never going to win senior honours. Um, their clubs are, you know, very unlikely to win major trophies or, or major competitions. So maybe they think, you know what, I'm going to move to Dublin. And, you know, there's probably a lot of players who are already living in Dublin already because of the fact that it's obviously the capital city of Dublin. It's, you know, the best work is, is available here. Um, you know, best standard of life, although, you know, rent is absolute joke. So you're probably actually better living outside Dublin and then probably commuting to Dublin for work um, but it is, it is a thing it is a thing and there are, there's a lot of players already living in, in Dublin that pr probably people don't know about um, and they commute back to their county you know to play for their club and in the process play for their county but there might be some players who, who, who might think you know ooh, you know maybe I might I mightn't play for Kilmuck or Croaks but maybe I might play for a St. Jude's might, maybe I might play for a Ballymun maybe I might play for I don't know, you know, Temple Ogre, or just whoever. And that makes you eligible then for the county. And if you perform, if you play well, you then get a spot on the panel. And look, it could happen in other counties as well. I mean, Cork's another big county. You know, players might think of maybe going to Kerry or, or even Mayo. I don't really know. But could it potentially 
become a thing. I think we'd all agree that we hope certainly not because, you know, I think the idea of having a, a Ryan O'Rourke lining now for Dublin, a Rian O'Neill lining now for Kerry, um, you know, a Samuel Roy lining out for Mayo, it just does not make sense and it, and, and, and it would become very warped and it would become, you know, a, a topic that certainly would split a lot of opinions and it would probably be the end of the GA in, in many ways. And that's why I do think at some point maybe the GA officially probably do need to look at inter-county transfers and and probably look at, okay, if a player is making a club transfer, but he has no, like, fair enough, if your parents are from the selected county that you're transferring to, then, okay, that makes sense. You know, if you if you have a, a parent from Dublin, if you have a parent from Kerry or Mayo, fair enough, that makes you, that, that, that then makes you eligible. I mean, Colm and Ryan Baskell have parents from Mayo very prominent Dublin club football players with, with Ballyboat and St. Enders. There's often been chat, could they end up on the Mayo panel at some stage? You know, probably not considering the rivalry. And I'm pretty sure, you know, I don't know if they've ever been asked to play for Mayo. I don't know if they'd ever actually do it. But, you know, that's another one, again, that potentially could happen. And, and fair enough, that's one that is eligible, um, in my opinion, because their parents are from there. But the whole situation of moving clubs... Okay, fair enough. It, it makes sense. You know, Shane Walsh is living in Dublin, um, you know, or he's studying in Dublin, shall we say. It makes perfect sense rather than commute, and it also gives him a chance to play for a huge club like Kilmuckle Croaks, and the chance to potentially win major honours such as a, a Dublin Club Senior Football Championship, Leinster, and possibly All-Ireland in the process. But the fact that, that that then makes him eligible to play for Dublin is, is for me, even as a Dublin fan, look, if Shane Walsh lined out for Dublin, I would absolutely love it. I think it would be... You know, I would personally love it, love to see him play for Dublin because he's such an amazing player. But the integrity of the GEA is then questionable. And, and, and there'd even be a part of me that's like, it nearly feels guilty. It nearly feels like cheating in, in some ways. You're sort of cheating the system. Um, and so that's why I think I'd, I would have an issue with it, enough of an issue with it, as much as the fan in me would love to see. Shane Walsh lining out for 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 Dublin, um, and I don't think he would actually do it. I think, you know, if the offer came in, I think he would stick with Galway anyways. Given the fact that you know what Galway did last year, he's probably more likely to win an All Ireland with uh, with Galway in the next couple of years than Dublin. To be fair, um, but then you know you just look at other players there, other star players. If if they did, if they were living in Dublin and they did you know start playing club football and it did start to happen it just you know I think it's one of them things where you know it probably doesn't it probably won't happen I mean you look at Pat Spillane Jr he's playing club football in Dublin he's obviously playing for for the Sligo Inter County squad he's obviously a Kerry man true and true and obviously his dad as we know one of the absolute legends of the GEA um, so the idea of him playing for Dublin would just be like bizarre in you know in, in in many ways but it is eligible you know and that's why i do think the ga need to to clamp down on fair enough if players are moving clubs absolutely that's you know no no problem with that especially if there's there's um i suppose credible cause you could say there liable cause i don't know the, the exact term and he's actually you know living and working in, in that specific county but you know, fair enough, you make a club transfer, but then if it becomes eligible for the county, it just becomes very, very messy, I think. Um, and I do think at some stage the GEA might, might potentially need to look at that if it does actually go and become a thing. Um, but I don't know. I'd be curious to know your, your opinions in the comments down below. It's just something I was thinking about in the last couple of days and I was thinking, you know what, um, that, that, that could be, you know, that could be a topic for discussion right there because, you know, the fact that like Shane Walsh could play for Dublin next year if he really wanted to, you know. I don't think he would, and I don't think he does want to, but he could. And that makes things a little bit worrying, I think. But I'd be curious to know your opinions in the comments down below. Do hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Aaron, and I will see you all later.